Hey everyone, today we're going to be dealing with those pesky hooded eyes. Let's make a start. Okay, so what you're going to need is a shadow shield, or if you don't have one of these, then just use a tissue. These just tend to be a bit easier to deal with. Now, I get these from Amazon, and I like to stick it on the back of my hand first because they are really, really sticky, and they'll just tear your skin off. So a couple of times pressed on the back of the hand is enough. You can get these on Amazon for about six or seven pounds for 200 of them. They're certainly a lot cheaper. So what I want you to do is place it at the tail of the brow and then move it in so that you just see that outside corner of the eye. And then just stick it on and we're good to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply a little bit of eye primer and I'm using the P. Louise one because it's the base, which is just the best of the best. It really is. And I'm applying this to the entirety of the eye. Now with most hooded eyes, the area that's the problem is this section here. So in this tutorial, all we're gonna deal with is this section of the eye. Look straight forward. And with a beautiful brush, I'm using number six. What I want you to do, let me just move this pad slightly because it's sticking in my bloody eye. What I want you to do, at the highest point with your eye open, looking forward, draw a line until you hit the shadow shield. Just like that, nothing fancy. And then fill it in at the outside corner. So you're looking at pretty much creating a straight line across here. So you look forward, find the highest point of the eye and draw a straight line on that outside corner, fill it in. Now from here, that highest point of the eye, which is here, with the eye sort of looking down, now go from that line until the middle portion of the eye and just fill it in in a kind of diagonal shape and then just fill it in. It doesn't have to be particularly neat. The reason we do this is just so that the color just doesn't stop in this square. It does kind of bleed down into this middle portion. Now just take a slightly deeper shade and start to shade that outside corner again, but you're only going a step or two deeper, nothing too major and really fill in that outside corner. Now what I'm gonna do is just clarify a little bit of the rest of the eye. So I'm gonna use a slight shimmer shade just on this inner portion. So right here, I'm just gonna to start to dot and place just a much lighter shade and then just allow it to join that deeper color, and then very lightly blend the edges. So you've got a nice bit of light here, and then you've got that slightly deeper shade at that outside corner. Now again, just going back in one last time with that slightly deeper shade on that irritating outside portion of the eye. Now we can define the lash line with a black or apply a very, very black mascara. I'm gonna go with a black false lash to complete this elongated look. Okay, so lashes on, all you need to do is remove that. Now it's gonna take away probably a small amount of your foundation or concealer. So just reapply to that under eye area. Okay, so there's one last thing you can do here. And this is completely optional, but it's entirely up to you. You can either leave it just so it's that outside corner and that's absolutely fine. There's no reason to do anything else if you don't want to. But if you do want to have a slightly more rounded transition, just from this section here, just round it so it's coming into this inner corner. So don't go straight across in a line, just from the top part here, that straight line, then just bring it down to create a slightly softer transition. But this way, what this does is it just deals with this outside corner of the eye, the most of it, where you've got that problematic area and it just gives a really kind of 
pretty slightly wider eye look. And because you've got that darker color here, it's just minimizing as best as possible that kind of irritating outside corner. Thank you for your time. See you next time. Bye-bye.